It's been almost two years since Jonathan Thurston made his bold request for a new stadium in North Queensland and finally work has begun. Politicians came from far and wide, but the opposition says there are bigger issues of law and order which need more attention. They're going to need a bigger bucket to prepare the foundation of a 25,000 seat stadium. <laughs> Planning for it has taken years. This is going to be a state-of-the-art stadium. Uh, it's for the people of North Queensland. The Cowboys are going to love it. While the state and Commonwealth both contributed, perhaps the biggest proponent is Jonathan Thurston, who famously made the request at the unforgettable 2015 NRL Grand Final. Lastly, I just want to say, North Queensland deserves a, a new stadium. Thank you. Congratulations, Townsville. Here's your stadium underway. It's being built on the edge of the CBD, also set for redevelopment. But what it really is is about Townsville surviving and now continuing to grow again. And it's supposed to be ready in time for the 2020 NRL season. It's uh, good to see the Townsville Stadium going, uh, going ahead. Uh, this must be about the third or fourth announcement. We've seen the Premier uh, turn her hand to, hand to in Townsville. You really have to ask the question, is she, hasn't she got any other policies for Townsville and for regional Queensland? Instead, the opposition used Townsville to target young offenders, proposing to introduce harsher punishments for those who breach bail. The feedback to us has been strong on this very issue. It, it's a pity that Townsville has had to cop the brunt, but there's no doubt that it has. This does not work. We actually want to build these people up so they can understand that they have a different pathway. While there are some 750 jobs touted for the city, it could take months for the bulk of the work to flow. The big question now is will the Premier head to the polls early with projects like the stadium finally underway or wait until the bulk of those jobs begin and an opportunity to spruik prosperity to a region which will be front and centre at the coming election. Josh Bavis, ABC News.